Well, um, hats off to of Southern. You know, I couldn't be more proud of a coach to come in and, and knock us off than I am. Uh, a coach, he's done a great job with his team. His team's extremely hungry, you know, and, and I'm just really, you know, I'm, I'm happy for them. You know, this is a moment that they deserve, and unfortunately, um, we didn't play our best basketball. We had, you know, some of our best, better players didn't come ready to play. Uh, I, I, all year I've seen, you know, some weak spots that we've had, and I, and I kept telling the team, if we don't get stronger, people are going to poke at those weak spots, and that's what they did today. Um, but nevertheless, I'm proud of my team. Uh, my team has done something that, that nobody thought we would do this year. People don't understand. We lost a lot in Amisha Williams and Deja Rogan. And to be able to do the things that we've done, be the power of five, become regular season champions, defensive player of the year, first team all conference, second team all conference, to still have that, depending on players who didn't have big roles last year, but still were able to get us over the hump. We've done some great things, and I'm proud of my team. I just, I've asked my team to keep their head up. but. Proud of coach this program at Southern, and I hope they go win. Appreciate those comments, Coach. Well, questions first for our student athletes. Uh, Ms. Covington, can you talk about the, the game and, and what it was like out there back and forth the entire night? Um, it was a battle all night. Um, I thought we couldn't find our way really. Um, Coach Hall was This one's for everyone. So unlike, you know, a few other teams, you guys are in a unique position where this probably won't be the last game for you. You will go on to a postseason berth. Might not be the NCAA tournament, practically an NIT bid. So how do you kind of move on from here, uplift your team, and let them know there's still more basketball to be played? You're not done just yet. Well, that's one thing I talked to them about, the opportunity we have, you know, I mean, knows who knows what will happen you know it'd be great to see at this point the new 68 teams in the NCAA it'd be great to see if they bring us in as a playing game the 16 seed it'd be great to see that it will be time for a new day in, in women's basketball history for that to happen obviously we would love for that to happen but if not we still got the WNIT because we sit at number one seed and I told my players you know unfortunately um you know this moment I saw this moment and, and God said I'm showing you who I am that's what he told me before I put on my clothes and come here, he said, I'm going to show you who I am. And I trust him. And I trust what we've done. I trust what we're going through right now. And he said, you, you, wherever the next place you go, you're going to go in and show out. So this is an opportunity for us to wake up. This is an opportunity for us to, you know, pull back together. I told my team, everybody who played, everybody who had minutes had a bad game. The better team won tonight. Everybody who played had a bad game. So we don't walk away pointing fingers. We're going to walk away and get better. We're going to grow as, a, as people, as individuals. We're going to grow as basketball players. And we're going to get prepared for our next journey. We have a new season that's getting ready to come forward. And, and I'm just thankful that we have an opportunity to continue playing. Coach, let me follow up on that. Um, when you assess your resume uh, with regards to this season, uh, you mentioned win over Power, uh, over power Five team, regular season championship. Uh, are, is this program worthy of that play-in game or getting in the tournament? I think we are worthy of it. Um, you're talking about our average uh, deficit in playing power of fives was eight. You're talking about a team that's our net ranking is 92. All right, the next HBCU is 174. We're top 100 in the country. All right, um, we're top mid major in the country. So I think that we are worthy of the NCAA spot. I think we are worthy of a play in game. Um, it's not, and, 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 and those rankings come based on your net rankings, and the top 100 is supposed to go. So I like to see what happens from that. Coach, it's not as if the, what you guys have done is over, but just from a historical perspective, what you've been in, what this program has been able to accomplish over the past couple of seasons, um, obviously not going to the championship game this year, but put that in perspective. Well, 
you you have to understand. Um, I I built my team to be competitive. I built my team to not only win in conference. I built my team to win outside the conference in preseason games. And again, our average deficit and loss is eight points to Power Five programs. The conference average deficit loss points is thirty six. So an average of all those games, we're losing by eight at least. If we're not in those games. Um, you're talking about number 10, UCLA. We had one of the toughest schedules in the country, all right? Five out of the 10 schools we played in preseason, not top 25, all right? So, you know, um, I think that, shit, I don't even know what the question was. <laughs> just, just the historical context of winning so many championships here. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's all good. We, we, we built this program, this program has, has grown over the, over the years, you know. Um, I, I, I think we've grown the conference. I think we've brought, you know, national attention to our conference. I think we represent it well. You know, we're in games, we're competing. You know, we're not hanging our head. We traveling lights and we're on the road 10 days. I mean, it's been hard, but we've still been right there. We have competed. And, you know, our work has spoke for us and, and we've worked so hard. And I'm just proud of my team. Last question. Coach, one fact you mentioned, your net ranking is, what, 97? Why do you think it's so low, especially when, when you've competed against teams that are their net rankings are probably, what, top 20, top 30? You say it's low, I think it's great. The next HBCU is 174. 97 is great. We got a team that's new. I got three players in my starting lineup that did not play last year. One in my starting lineup that averaged five minutes a game. I think we did great. I'm happy to be at 97. We top one. We're top 100. Okay, we're top 100. Last year we were 74. But I had veterans on the floor. I had peak players that have been in my program four years. They were on the floor. We were 74. We're 92. That's great. We could be 175 with the, the next HBCU. I'm happy with where we are. We'll see where we go from here. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.